Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be checking out the free monthly marketplace assets for the month of March. There's quite a bit of decent packs this month. Also, there's a bonus permanently free VFX starter pack that I will showcase here at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first of all, we have the Greenwood Fantasy Village uh, stylized pack. It's this village that you see here with all these stylized assets and I have this loaded up in Unreal Engine 5. But you can see here you have all of these farm assets, so pumpkins, carrots, and all sorts of different crops here. You even have corn. This is nice neat little level where you have all of these houses here. You have this well in the center of the town. And then over here we have sort of a marketplace area we have the different fruits and vegetables and then over here is kind of like a stage or like a, a storage area okay and then you have this nice river here and I'm not sure if the level actually continues over here but it looks like we have sort of some hay bales over here and then a shed pathway kind of continues through the forest where we have some bridges here that connect these various islands and it looks like it leads all the way to this lighthouse over here honestly a pretty cool pack I didn't realize how big the actual map was initially I thought it was this small portion over here but and in fact up here you can follow the pathway all the way up to this windmill so yeah there's actually quite a bit of playable area in this map and there's also a nighttime version of this map so I can show you what it looks like at night you have that nice emissive lighting coming through the windows gives it that nice ambient lighting yeah so that is the Greenwood Fantasy Village pack I'll show you the overview map that includes all of the assets from the pack so as you can see here are some of the various houses as well as uh, these butterfly particle effects and you can see some of the trees in the background here and of course all of the wood different wooden props I know a lot of you guys might not use stylized assets at all but and I myself did not use many stylized assets before but do save them because they might come in handy later so yeah over here are the various terrain pieces so you can see the the hills as well as the river and road pathways and yeah that's the Greenwood Fantasy Village pack let's go ahead and move on to the next so next up here we have the bridges pack this is six different bridge meshes that you can see here and these meshes are pretty big so you can see the scale here basically the street level view of the bridge it comes with these street lights uh, but yeah there is the first different type so yeah, over here is the next sort of bridge, kind of this arch. Personally, if I were to use this, I'd probably change the road material. Uh, just something about it just looks off to me, but that's me personally. Okay, then we have a, another arched bridge. So if you're making a city map and you need some bridges to cross over a river, here you guys go. Okay, and this one just doesn't have any arch. And this one looks pretty interesting. Kind of looks like a bridge that would hold a train, but at the same time, it looks more architectural in terms of design. Okay, so the last one here, purely looks, but I really like the design. But yeah, those are the bridges pack. Uh, let me know if you guys are going to use this in your projects or whatnot down in the comments down below. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to our next. Okay, next up we have this bicycle with animations. And if I go ahead and hit play here, you can see all the different animations that comes with the pack. So you can see we have sort of this wheelie animation, just normal cycling, and more intense pedaling. Then it looks like we have some various animations where the character is leaning. And then we have some idle as well as get on and get off animations. So honestly, it's really nice that they included not only the animations of the uh, bike's wheels spinning, but also the character animations. Would have been nice if they included a 
uh, pre-made blend space and character pawn that you could uh, demo riding around but yeah it is what it is let's go ahead and move on to our next pack okay next up here we have the contemporary restaurant and basically this is a high detailed scene here for the architectural side of Unreal Engine now my channel personally has been mainly focused on making games inside of Unreal Engine so personally I haven't really dived into using the engine for any other disciplines such as you know films and architecture and stuff like that so hopefully on this channel I don't uh, drive too many of those viewers away by purely just focusing on the game side of using the engine because I know there's obviously a lot more things that you can use Unreal Engine for other than just developing games but yeah, you can see this nice little scene here. I don't really have a lot to say about it. But yeah, that is basically the contemporary restaurant. Next up, we have the Journeyman's minimap. And basically, this adds a nice minimap to your game. And there are a couple different templates that I want to showcase here. But you can see you can actually add icons onto your minimap pretty easily. You have a zoom in and out. And you also can hit tab to show the full map. So if I open up the fog demo here, basically this is sort of like a fog of war effect, kind of like any sort of top-down game that you'd see. But you can see on the map our circle of light around the player. When we stand on this trigger box, basically the entire map or this entire area that is defined will light up. And also we have the various icons on the map. So you can see here we have the first type of actor, which the icon and actor are always visible. This basic icon is always visible on your minimap. Over here is the hidden in fog, so you can see the icon hides when we are away from the actor, but when we overlap with it, the icon is now visible. And then we have the actor hidden in fog and the icon hidden in fog. So unless our character overlaps with that actor, we actually see the mesh itself, so this cube, as well as the icon. So honestly, I think it's really nice that they included not only the actual mini-maps, but also this demo level with some of the basic functionality included. Okay, we also have some of the icon features. So you can see we have a basic icon, flashing icon, rotating icon, clock animation, just basically some of the different animated icons that you can use. Click me on minimap so you can see when we click or hover over this icon you can call some sort of logic in your game. Okay and then over here we have objective arrow so we have this alert that basically tells the character whether or not to head over to that area and if we get farther away from it you can see an arrow on the corner of our minimap pointing to that location. Okay, here is the side scroller demo. So, if you wanted to implement this minimap in a side scroller sort of game. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is this actual demo level is on the marketplace if you go to the marketplace page. Uh, but currently, the example project has not been updated since 4.25. So, kind of annoying that they haven't kept the demo project up to date. I did update this myself by just rebuilding the project in Visual Studio, but yeah, just one thing to note if you want to get your hands on this demo level, you may either need uh, an older version of the engine 4.25 or a source build to update this demo project. All right, last but not least, we have our permanently free Marketplace Asset Pack, which is the Realistic Starter VFX Pack Volume 2. Now, this comes with so many different effects. I definitely think this is my favorite pack out of all of the free, all of the assets that we got this month. But as you can see here, we can just show you all of the different effects. We have a leather hit effect, paper hit effect, rubber, vegetation, ice. Then we have the hit for brick. So just the different surfaces that you can see here, concrete, ceramic, and then just a default over here are the different smoke VFX so you can see a very simple smoke and a darker cloud broken pipe or vent some smoke coming probably from like from a fire smoke coming from like a cooler or something like that and then it looks like just some steam right there 
So next up we have the sparks and I'll start over here on the right. So you have these embers and I gotta say this is always useful for, I don't know, making probably like cinematics. Just having these nice little embers on the screen while you, your camera pans out. Okay, over here we have some sparks. Some more different types of sparks. So various different explosions. And some of the shorter bursts and some of the longer bursts. This kind of looks like some sort of dancing firework, I don't know. Okay, over here uh, we have this blood splat particle effect. Really nice. I'm definitely going to use this actually in some of my tutorials. Over here we have some of the explosion effects. And I've got to say a lot of these look really good, especially this one in particular. This one as well. Uh, however, it's kind of a little fast, so you might want to tweak that in the settings. Okay, then we have a Molotov cocktail, basically. Some smoke. A side explosion. So some dandelion particles. Basic environment things like leaves. Looks like fireflies, butterflies. And then basically some schools of fish. Okay, over here are some destruction particle effects. And I've got to say, these are definitely essential especially if you're playing with the new Chaos Destruction Editor. Uh, it's really easy to add fractured meshes in the editor. However, pretty much need some sort of destructible particle effect for the destruction to actually look realistic. So you see we have metal, wood destruction, electrical, and ceramic, building A destruction, and then building B. So like I said, really useful for chaos uh, destruction. All right, over here are the various fire effects. So you can see we have this nice flamethrower effect. Okay, and then we have these little small fires on the ground. And then a, I guess, a wall of fire. And a fire big, so a really big burn. Okay, and then just miscellaneous water effects. So some bubbles, more different types of bubbles. Uh, some water dripping. And then some more water dripping a leak in a pipe, and then another different type of leak. So honestly, there are quite a bit of different particles in this pack, again, permanently free. So it's going to be a really nice resource to use in tutorial videos. And for some of those people who are working on like films and things like that, a lot of this stuff will suffice. Now, one thing to mention is that these are using kind of the older predated Niagara emitter before Niagara. So I think there is actually a way of converting this or updating this to the new Niagara emitter system. I'm definitely not the guy to ask about that, but yeah, I just thought it was something worth mentioning. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the different free marketplace assets for this month, the month of March. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Honestly, I thought it was an all right month. This VFX starter pack is probably my favorite. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.